Hello friends and welcome back to a Soul Ash 2 beginner's guide. So in this guide we are going to be upgrading our settlement and I'll show you how to recruit people to your settlement and so you can start having people work for you in your own village. So let's get into it. So first of all what you need to upgrade your settlement we would need if you go onto the settlement tab and come up here it tells you that you need zero population and a cost of 10,000 wealth from your stash and as you can see I've got 7,317 gold at the minute I've just been adding to it so I'm going to show you a really quick way of getting the gold getting the 10,000 so you can upgrade your settlement so if you have a quick look on your world map what you want to be looking for is the sand biome and if you look at the resources there is a lot of gems there you've got a lot of serpentine quartz and they sell for a lot a lot of gold so you want to start mining them so if you haven't got a pickaxe you need to get one of them crafted from a settlement or you can start with the adventuring skill and you do get a pickaxe but it's up to you so we're in this biome here and as you can see we've got some quartz on here so I've entered the region and what you got to do is just look for a like a little hole in the ground so it'll be a lot of stairs to go underground because that's where all the gem it, um, mines are in the sand biome so as I can see there's, there's one over there so let's just head over there and see what we can find let's go down oh, there we go as you can see if you hold shift you can actually see what's around you so we've got quartz vein sandstone there and we have got some sandworms in here so we're gonna have to take care of them first so let's quickly take them out well, i have got a companion with me who recruited I mean, you don't have to have a companion, I just think it's easier. So if you have a quick look at your stash, they've got a backpack as well. So you can always add all the uh, gems and resources that you've got to sell in them. So you never run out of room. And I have got a woolly backpack, which I crafted for me, which gives me an extra 20 carry weight and an extra 20 capacity on my backpack. So I can carry a lot more so we can just get that gold in so we can um, upgrade the settlement quicker. And as you can see, I've already got some 34 serpentine. That's all I've been doing is just going through the sand biome. So as you can see, I can sell that for 1,428 so far. And I'm going to get some quartz now. We'll get some more. So we should hit the 10,000. But first off, let's take care of these. Oh, where's my dude? Let's get him involved. then taken care of so we just want to mine these quartz veins there we go so i've just picked up two quartz there, and as you can see two of them sell for 64 gold so basically that's all you want to do you just want to work your way through the sand biomes and collecting all these gemstones that's what i find the easiest way to get the gold for your settlement and then we've got another sandworm so let's take care of him put my chickens up we'll let mine companion take care of him you should be able to uh, take care of him he's pretty beefy to be fair and think about these mines it's, there's there's quite a lot of resources in these mines We should get a lot of gold from these. Okay, so I've got that. Is that the last one? I don't think there'll be any more down here. We'll go and check anyway. Another somewhere. any more so we've mined all the resources out of this one yeah looks like it so out of that we've got uh, 16 quarts out there so as you can see we can sell that 500 gold 
if we get that price for it. But you don't always get that price, it's not usually a markup in, in towns, so. Um, we'll still get quite a bit, I think, for it. So let's leave this on our own. What we do with sleeping, actually. Oh, you know what, let's just leave. You, know, you sleep always replenishes when you leave on the world map anyway, so let's just get out of here. And then we'll find a, another mine. Go and um, get some more resources. Okay, so on to the next one. And if you have actually got uh, adventuring, I would recommend picking that skill. If you have got that up to level 20 so far, you do get this passive ability called resource discovery. So you can now spend a few hours to discover a resource on the world map. So these resources are question marks. I can spend 250 turns to discover what that is. And all you do is just simply click on it. It tells you what it is. So we've got some serpentine there. So I think we'll head over to this biome and look for the stairs. It can be a bit of a pain finding these, but sometimes you find them straight off, sometimes you have to have a look around the whole of the uh, oil. Oh, there we go, we found it straight away. Nice. We've got someone coming over to us. I know it's him. Okay, so let's jump down here and we should have some serpentine veins down here. It looks like he's fighting up there actually. Yeah, he's fighting a horned lizard. So let's take this lizard out. Go find this serpentine. And there we go. We found it. Go and shift on it. Serpentine vein sandstone. So let's just mine them. And we've got a couple of sandworms. Let's take them out. We need to rest. Let's go and have a look at another tile. So yeah, that's basically it. If you want gold fast in the early game, just for your settlement, this is probably the best way to do it. Quick look, yes, there's serpentine on that tile as well. But we've got ruby there as well. Which itself quite high, it depends. So you get 50 gold for one of them. You have to get more for the ruby. So we could go and have a look at this region and try and see if we can get some ruby mines. Let's have a look. I've got some of the spent skill points as well, so let's just beef my character up a little bit. But we are the intelligence and that endurance. Now let's go find this stairs to the mine. There we go, so we found the stairs, and there we go. You can see there we've got some ruby vein sandstones, nice, so we can start mining there. Let's just quickly take care of these. Two ruby from that vein. Oh, that is interrupted me. Yeah, we've only got one from that. So I think you get anywhere between like one and three on these veins. So we've got some ruby as well. So have to take a quick look at them. So we've got 10 of them and 10 of them sell for 500 gold. As you can see, we're 
we're gonna get that 10,000 gold in no time. And, oh, what have we got here? We've got a Fennec Fox there. So let's get out of here now, and I will show you how to upgrade the settlement. First, we need to take all these gems and ores to a settlement to sell them. I do quite a lot of uh, trading in this settlement. So let's talk to one of these NPCs. We're going to trade goods. Okay, so we want to sell all the ruby. So we're not getting, we're only getting a forty-two percent markup on there. So it does depend on what settlement you actually go to. The surf team we get an eighty-seven, and the quartz eighty-eight. So we'll sell all of them and all of the quartz. But it depends. See, their money's down here, so they they can't afford to buy all all of it. So we will get rid of some of that. Get rid of the rubies. We'll sell thirteen of them. The quartz will sell 30 of them. Sell 29 of them. Um, okay, so they've got enough, so we've got to get 1,345 gold from them, and we've just wiped them all out. We've left them with 131 gold, which is nice. So let's trade them. And there we go. So we've got 2,800 there for what? 10, 15 minutes work, which is not bad. Okay, so I've come over to another NPC here because I've actually got more money. So if I trade the goods with him, you can see he's got 31,000 there. So I can get rid of the rest of the gems. So we can give him all the serpentine, all of the quartz. And he's going to give us 635 for that. So let's trade that. So that's 3,466 gold we've got so far. And now what we've got to do is leave this region and we'll head back to the settlement. So we want to head back to our settlement and quick tip when you're entering a tile depending on which direction you come from that's where you enter that tile from so i know my settlements on the left on this one so i enter from the left and then what we want to do we want to open up our stash and we'll just put everything in our stash and then we want to transfer our gold down here. So you click on that button there and we transfer it all over. There we go. So we've got 10,783. We've got enough to upgrade our settlement now. Then what you want to do, you want to go into the menu, the settlement menu, and then you click on this tab here, upgrading the settlement. There we go. So we've upgraded it. So now we can finally start recruiting people to come and work in our village. And then we can start setting up caravans and start getting profit and selling items and all that. If you did want to upgrade it further, you would need 100,000 wealth. So it's best to start off this and start getting the caravan set up so you can start making some profit. But first, we need to go and gather some recruits. So what we want to do to gather recruits, we need to leave the settlement and we need to head off into a, another settlement. Uh, so there was no one in Boy Smile Village, so we've come to this place here, which is Vakukara Town, to see if we can recruit some of these Khajiit, these uh, cat people. So let's speak to him, and you should see this here. So it says, ask to migrate. So if you're asking to migrate, it says, hmm, I finally have four zero children. We'll gladly look for new opportunities. And then you just click on your settlement. There we go. And that's it done. So Jungle Stone family will join Undead shortly. And that's how you do it. And we can ask all these to migrate as well. Family of three with zero children. Let's keep them. And you just go along, work your way along to all these villagers here, asking them to migrate. He obviously turned it down. He didn't want to go. So you do get some that don't want to go. You can't just recruit anyone. Some of them you can't recruit. Some of them can, but they refuse others are willingly to happy to go so as to migrate him there you go amber coat family will join the undead shortly and that's pretty much it so once you get enough gold for the 10,000 to upgrade settlement then you can start recruiting people you simply go up to them ask them to migrate migrate 
and then they will join your settlement later on. So if we head back to the settlement, okay, so we're back at the settlement now. And as you can see, he's started building these for me. They were just, I just did them to up my construction. I was just testing something, but he's more follower there is actually building for me. If we go downstairs, if we go down here, these are all the beds that I've got to settle from. I haven't really made it look nice or anything. I've got a couple of beds and a couple of workbenches just for this tutorial, but you can change that at a later date because that added more things to it. You will need beds and other workstations for the um, new recruits to start working. And if you click on tab, if you go to your actual settlement tab, so there we go. So you can see all the people that I've recruited here. It tells you what age they are. And it tells you how good at combat they are also. So he's pretty good. He's a nine, he's a 10. And then if I wanted to, I could start making a caravan up here. So on here as well. So we've got unoccupied. It tells you what different types of families. So we've got the Ambercoat family and the Shadow River family and the Jungle Stone family. They're unoccupied at the minute, which means they're not working. And then if I wanted to set up a caravan to sell some of my goods, all you needed to do was click on the portrait and then click on the caravan there. And it will change to them. They'll be your caravan. They'll go and deliver the goods. And then it's simply a case of, uh, say I wanted to sell some copper ore. Let's put the copper ore in there. Click on select destination. And then it'll tell you the nearest settlement to you and it'll also tell you how much profit so the most profit is going to be tool fang it's always at the top so if i set that up i'll just click on this arrow there there we go and the gold's done travel time nine days so it'll take nine days to, for him to get to that settlement and then i'll you'll return And that's pretty much it for the basics of settlements, so upgrading, recruiting, and then setting up your caravans. It's pretty, fairly simple. You just got to um, get into it. It takes a bit of practice, but I hope this video helped, guys. If you did enjoy the video, if it does help you out, drop us a like. Um, there is episode one of this, which I'll put a link in the description if you haven't watched the base building and early settlement guide. Make sure you go check that out. And I appreciate you for watching. I will see you in the next one.